Hello, my students. I'm Miss Tania Poveda. This is Entrepreneurship One. Welcome to this new class. It's very important you remember to download the information and keep it on your computer or on your cell phones. So you can check it anytime and study whenever you need. So instead of being copying everything, you can keep it on your computer, on your digital files. Today we're going to talk about the entrepreneur as a creative person. So we already know what an entrepreneur is, right? It's a person and it's someone who starts something new. But today we're going to go a little bit deeper on this characteristic, which is creativity. So the entrepreneur as a creative person. Do you know what creativity is? Well, usually this is like the general view of what people or most of people think creativity is. And it's pretty much the same when we're talking about businesses or when we're talking about entrepreneurship. So it starts with a research or it starts here somewhere with an idea. So you have a vision, an idea of something you want to build. And at the same time, you need some inspiration. Remember that inspiration is not only for art. It is for art, for sure. But you can be also inspired to do other things like businesses, for example. But you also can be inspired when you're studying maybe mathematics or social studies or memorizing something or cooking. Well, it's the same for businesses. Sometimes you get inspiration from nowhere. You have an idea and then you start thinking about that. So here is when you have the most important process because you start to grow the idea. You have brainstorm. So you have all kind of ideas to make it real. And then you design, you design all of this. So this is like a general view of a creativity process. But now today we're going to talk about creativity during the entrepreneurial process or the entrepreneur as a creative person. So I found this information here. It's a video. Listen carefully. And this person is going to explain a little bit how creativity process works when talking about entrepreneurship. So pay attention and enjoy it. Various stages involved in the creative process presented by edixit.com. In this video, we are going to learn about the various stages involved in the creative process. The following are the various stages of the creative process. Idea germination. Based on the interest or need or a problem, an idea is germinated and the entrepreneur recognizes a potential opportunity. Preparation. The idea germinated in the above step is evaluated and a solution is identified. If the solution leads to an innovative product or service, a market research is performed to identify the opportunities to exploit the idea. Once it is concluded that the idea has a potential growth opportunity, the entrepreneur will proceed. Incubation In this phase, all the required information is gathered from various resources. The information is analyzed to evaluate various pros and cons of implementing the idea. Illumination In this phase, a detailed plan to implement the idea is laid out. The entrepreneur will start accumulating the capital, procuring the raw material, laying out the process, deciding the policy, etc. starts out. Verification In this stage, the idea is turned into reality and the entrepreneur will start monitoring the outcome. The entrepreneur will start seeing obstacles and take necessary steps to overcome the obstacles to move the enterprise towards its goal. That's all about the various stages involved in the creative process. Thanks for watching. Edexit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements. We are going to add more and more videos to our channel. To watch all our videos, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. After you have subscribed to our Okay, that was enough about the video. 
Anyway, you can watch it again. And when I upload this video in YouTube, I'm going to add the link so you can watch it again, complete, pause, rewind, whatever you need to study and learn more and more. So now when talking about business or entrepreneurship, we have five stages of creativity. And this is the process. So as you can see, it's very similar to the first picture I showed you, but it not, it's not exactly the same. It starts with preparation, which is research, consume, immerse, and gather. That is stage number one, preparation. Then we have incubation. Explore, experiment, and synthesize. Next, illumination or inspiration. And here the explanation is, aha. Uh -huh. So yes, you get some inspiration. It can come from everywhere. Then we have evaluation about all of this. Reflect, criticize, assess. Assess is other word for test. And finally, we have implementation. What is implementation? Work, work, work. So uh, I'm going to ask you, what are the three steps in entrepreneurship? What is the first step? To have an idea, right? Then plan the idea. And finally, make it real, make it happen. So remember in those three steps, can you tell me if in this picture you can find those three steps? Yes, they are here. So it's exactly the same when we're talking about creativity. You're going to need an idea, a plan, and make it work, make it happen. Okay, so remember this five stage on a creativity process or creative process in entrepreneurship. Knowing this, we can continue with seven tips to be a creative entrepreneur. Do you consider yourself an entrepreneur? Well, I read your homework and I remember that most of you say yes. Some were social entrepreneurs and others, other students were um, commercial entrepreneurs. And a few of you were both of them, social and commercial, which is really good too. All the answers were correct. Now, do you consider a creative entrepreneur? Do you go through all this process, inspiration, incubation, preparation, assessment, and implementation? Well, don't worry if you're not yet because you are learning. Today, we're going to read these seven tips to be a creative entrepreneur. Are you ready? So this is tip number one. If you don't like it, you can't make it work. Okay, it's really, really important that whatever you want to do as an entrepreneurial project, you must love it. Not only like it, but love it, enjoy it. Because if you like it, if you love, if you enjoy the work you're doing, the project you're working in, you're going to make it happen and make it grow. Just like when you have a plant or a pet, you take care of it, you feed it, you water it and make it grow because you love it, because you like it and you enjoy it. If you don't, probably you're going to stop doing it anytime and it will be a totally and big waste of time. So that's tip number one, do something you like. Tip number two, if you want to develop something new, make sure that the market consume that product. 
because maybe you will have a great and crazy idea, something really good, but probably the market you want to work in is not going to buy it. It's not going to consume your product. When I'm talking about the market, I'm talking about the clients or the consumers. So that's very important that you recognize the market you're going to sell your product in case you want to develop something new. People were, as human behavior, as a very normal and common human behavior, people get used to something and it's really hard to make them try something new. So again, if you want to develop something new, make sure that the market will accept it. Okay, this is tip number three. As you can see here in this little video, he's saying like, cut it out. Well, don't let people talk you out of it. Not everybody understand creativity. Not everybody understand entrepreneurs. And usually that's how they started, against everybody's opinions. Of course, it's good to listen to your friends, to your parents, to your colleagues, classmates, teachers, people who care about you. It's good to listen, but when you listen, you should take what which is best for you and for your business in this case and keep growing. Just don't feel disappointed. If you think it's not gonna work, change your idea. That's it. You don't need to get be out of the game. No, just change the game. Okay, this is tip number four. And actually this is like my favorite one because it's about a great product. It says strive to create a great product or service. Do you remember that when I told you about ideas in the beginning of this class, I told you that the idea should be or must be new? When you have an idea, to consider this idea entrepreneurial must be new. Or you can improve other idea that already exists. So let's suppose that right now you have an idea, like it's only yours, nobody else has it. Okay, make sure that it's something great because everybody likes good things. Everybody likes to be impressed and find something unique. So make sure that whatever you are creating is something extremely good and people will love it. Or if you have a product already, something you use, something you saw, something you buy, you can improve that product, take the same product and improve it, make it a lot better, making sure that it's great and you, are, you see that it's going to be wonderful that you create something kind of new from something old. Whatever you are creating or improving, make sure that it's something great. Okay, this is tip number five. Can you tell me how old are you? Okay, so you're probably between 13, 14, 15 years old right now, right? So you're pretty young, let's say, to start the business. Well, yes, but remember that entrepreneurship is not only businesses or commercial entrepreneurship, it's also social entrepreneurship. So saying that you're young is not an excuse. If there is something you want to do, something you need to do, you can start now. Actually, it's a lot better now that you're young because you are fresh, you have new ideas, you know needs, you sometimes know more than adults what people want. Sometimes we don't pay too much attention, but you do. So there are no excuses when you are young. You have an idea, plan it, do it, okay? So don't take your age as an excuse 
to not do something. Okay, number six. This one, I will tell you two ideas about this one. When it says, now is the time to take risks. It's very, very well connected to tip number five. Because again, when you are young, you have less responsibilities than when you're an adult. Normally it's like that. Of course there are people that are really young and have a lot of responsibilities, but in general, the older, the more responsibilities you have. So now that you are young and you have the opportunity to start something new, start right now. Okay, let's suppose that right now you can't because you are not 18 yet, because you need more money, more help, whatever the reason is, okay? Except your age, of course. <laughs> well, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, let's suppose that you can start right now for different reasons, but you, you say, okay, I'm going to do it later. But what will happen later? Later, you will have to study harder, probably to get a degree. Later, you will want to travel. If you are traveling, you can't focus on a business. Later, you are probably getting married or having babies. So then, when you take the risk, if you have a family, the risk is not going to be only for you. It's going to be for your family. So I recommend you to start before you start a family. So you can grow something by yourself Focus on that, pay attention on that, take the risk only for you and not for everybody. Okay? And finally, look at the video here. It's a um, cat working really hard. <laughs> and this is kind of obvious. Now that you are students, study hard. You study super hard so you learn a lot and you are becoming a better person, a wise person. So tip number seven is work super hard and be prepared to make sacrifices. Yes, when we want to get a goal, when we want to get something to grow, we have to be ready to make sacrifices. Those sacrifices are going to depend on your life, on your style of life, on the things you like, the things you love. It can be sleeping less, it can be eating at different hours, it can be not seeing your friends too often. But in the end, you're going to be really happy with the results. So remember these seven tips to be a creative entrepreneur and you'll see that you're going to grow as a wonderful, great, super creative entrepreneur. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, let me know. You can text me or send me, or send me an email whenever you need to. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I hope that you enjoy the the videos and also remember that when i upload this video in youtube i'm going to copy the links so you can watch the other video again too bye bye everybody see you next week